Draw the Newman projection of the most stable conformation of 3,3-dimethylhexane viewed through the C3-C4 bond. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to draw our molecule. Hexane means we have a 6-carbon chain, so we will start by drawing a 6-carbon chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And on carbon 3, there are two methyl groups, so we will draw two methyl groups on carbon 3. Now, we have to look at carbon 3 to carbon 4 bond. So this is my carbon 3, and this is my carbon 4, and we need to draw the most stable conformation. The most stable conformation for Newman projection is a staggered conformation, where the groups attached to the front carbon are spread out from the groups that are attached to the back carbon. So this is where I will start. I'm going to draw a circle and I'm going to draw three lines like this. This is carbon number three and I'm going to show the three groups that my carbon three is attached to other than carbon number four because carbon number four is directly behind it. So what are the three groups that my carbon three attached to? Let's change this color to green. It's attached to a methyl, another methyl, and an ethyl group. And I'm going to put them in random order. So this could be my ethyl group, and this is my methyl and methyl. I could also write CH3, CH3, and I could write CH2, CH3 here, or I could leave it like this. Now we have to look at carbon number four, which is the carbon behind it, and show the groups that are attached to that carbon. Carbon number four, notice that it has only two bonds, and a neutral carbon has four bonds, which means that this carbon is attached to two hydrogens, which are not shown, and we will show them. So carbon number four is attached to two hydrogens, Let's go ahead and highlight it. It's attached to two hydrogens, and it's also attached to an ethyl group. Now, we are not looking at carbon three because we already uh, did carbon three. It's, it's in front of it, so we're just taking care of carbon four now and the three groups that it's attached to. We have two hydrogens and one ethyl group, and for the most stable conformation, we're trying to put our biggest groups as far apart from each other as possible. So on the front carbon, I have an ethyl group, which is a really big group. And on carbon number four, I have two hydrogens and an ethyl group. So the first thing that I will do is I will attach an ethyl group here. So it's as far apart from the carbon, from the ethyl group on the front carbon as possible. And then my other two groups, will be hydrogens. So this is the most stable conformation, the lowest energy conformation of this molecule through the C3-C4 bond.